Hey, how's it going out there today, everybody? Hope everybody's having a great day. We want to talk to you today about weekly recap. It's that time again. I got to get these things out. I'm a little bit behind. Uh, I would say this is probably about three weeks behind right now, trying to stay at one a week. If you guys don't know the weekly recap, I put out one of these for every week I'm on the road. And if I'm off, I'll just tell you how I was off. But what we do with weekly, weekly recap, this is for the guys that, gals that think they want to be an owner operator and uh, they want some like you know numbers to kind of figure it out is it worth it or not um i'm leased to an 80 20 split carrier i run their authority under their authority uh 80 20 split i pull their trailer for free i pull a reefer trailer um you know mostly i go from minnesota out a thousand to fifteen hundred miles and i come back to minnesota take a day or two off rinse and repeat uh, see what else I don't talk about my carrier find yourself a good 80 20 split carrier and um, You know, that's what I recommend. That's what I would recommend uh, Let me get a little extra light going here for my reading for my reading pleasures um, so uh, Let's talk about let's talk about this week now. I like to go over my loads. I did I want to talk to you about the loads I did Talk about what they paid, why I like these loads, why I took these loads, why they were appealing to me, and that sort of thing. So I've got a few lanes I run. I run from Minnesota out to like New Jersey, Northeast area, uh, Minnesota to Georgia, or Minnesota to like Texas, Louisiana. I don't go out west very often. You won't see, uh, you know, west coast runs in my numbers very rarely. Um, if I pull a load that's not a reefer load, I'll tell you, hey, it was dry load, but most of them are reefer loads. So, let's get down to the numbers of it. Um, this week is coming off of a really good week. Um, so, I went out, I came back. I was actually going to take the whole weekend off. And then they said, hey, we got a little quick run out and run back. Uh, it ended up being a little longer than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like four to five days. But the way it shaped out, it, it stretched out a little more. Not mad about it. Still a very good week. Happy with it. Um, so my first load was Minnesota over to Ohio. And um, it was a cold storage load. It was negative 10 degrees. And it weighed... Oh, I didn't write down the weight on that one. Slipping. I'm slipping. I think it was about 40,000 pounds. I think it was a pretty heavy load if I remember correctly. Um, and it had 90 miles of deadhead from the yard down to where I picked it up, 745 loaded miles, 835 total on the miles on that one. It paid $4,800. Um, that's the main reason I left out. They were like, Hey, we got a load that's, you know, like, you know, all in a little over 800 miles and it's paying $4,800. And I said, yeah, that does get my attention. Um, so I took it 4,800 bucks. Uh, that put me over in Ohio, and that was um, that was down like south of Columbus area, you know, put me down in that area. And then my next load picked up out of um, Pennsylvania, like the new Stanton area, you know, like just into Pennsylvania there. Uh, and that came right back to Minnesota. There again, out and back. This is a six-day week I'm talking about right here. Uh, my weeks are seven days, and if they're shorter, I'll tell you it was uh, shorter. But if it goes over, then the load's on next week. Um, I, I just don't, you know, I, and I go over this real quick. You know, I, I'm not here to impress you with my numbers. I, I'm here to try to help people. But um, so, you know, some people want to show you a big number on the thumbnail and say, hey, I made $15,000 in a week and then come to find out it was a 14 day week. And I'm like, well, that's two weeks. That's not a week. It's two weeks. So I, I don't do that. It's seven days. If not, it carries over. If it's less, I'll tell you it's less. Uh, and this was a six day week. I picked this up on, uh, ah, never mind. That's from January. I don't have that calendar in front of me. Um, I want to say it picked up like on a Thursday or a Friday and I was back like Wednesday or Thursday. It, it was it was a true six day week. Um, you know, I worked six days. I was off the one. So uh, anyway, the load out of Pennsylvania back to Minnesota that was thirty six degree load, and uh, it was twenty thousand pounds, and that was basically a protect from freeze load. Um, 
233 empty miles on that. So I did hit it a good ways over into Pennsylvania to get this load. And uh, 918 loaded miles, 1,211 total miles, paid 3,600 bucks. So the way I looked at it and the reason I was okay with the 233 miles of deadhead was uh, loads out of the area I was picking up in were paying like 250-ish a mile. This load, even with the deadhead, was paying like three bucks a mile, all miles. So I said, okay, I'm deadheading 233 miles, but I'm getting paid like three bucks a mile to deadhead. And I, I love it when it's like that because the deadhead is the cheapest miles, you know, I can run. You know, like if I, main, if I maintain like 62, 63 miles an hour empty, uh, you know, that's some hilly area, but still I'm probably getting like nine miles a gallon. So maybe even 10, so I, I, you know, I, that's, where I, that's where I like to be. So for me, this was a really good week. Um, that is $8,400 total gross revenue on a six-day work week. Uh, I'm 80-20 split carrier, so $8,400. My 80% is $6,720. All miles, $2,046. So two, you know, $2,046 on the miles, $2,046. All miles, 323 deadhead miles. Um, I didn't do the numbers on it, but that's probably like, that's quite a bit of deadhead. That's probably like 15 to 18 percent deadhead. Uh, 1723 on the loaded miles. Um, all miles, every mile I ran that week was $4.10. And uh, my 80 percent is $3.28 a mile. And loaded mile was, boy, am I writing this so chicken scratch, $4.88 a loaded mile there. So, uh, so good paying freight, good paying freight. Was pretty happy with this week. Um, now let's get down to the variable cost. I go over the variable cost, and um, I don't go over my fixed cost because you know everybody's fixed cost is going to be uh, different. These are the numbers I think you know, like not being in the game, you you can't really know. So that's why I try to give you these. Now you know you, you figure out what kind of truck you're going to get, and you can kind of get a payment idea on that by just figuring up you know your financing insurance call insurance companies and get quotes uh you know most of them don't charge you for quotes so call and get some quotes and uh you know plug those in but at the end you'll hear me say this is the money left to do what i have to do with and that's where you would plug in your truck cost and your insurance cost and any other business related cost so with that said let's get down to the variable cost Diesel, if you guys don't know, I promote the mud flap out. They don't pay me to do it, but I really enjoy it. I save a lot of money. I think if you're leased onto a carrier and they don't have a fuel card that gives you at least 50 cents off a gallon, you need to be on mud flap because mud flap's getting you into that territory of 50, 60, even 80 cents off a gallon on mud flap. Uh, check it out in the description below. I got videos about it. Sign up is free. It don't cost you nothing. No credit check. Check it out. But let's get to these costs. Uh, $1,099 in diesel cost. $10.99 diesel cost for the week. Um, feels going up every single day, it seems like. Uh, I'm glad uh, I'm glad freight paying freight is paying good first. You know, that's that's a bonus. But um, $48 in reefer fuel. $43 in death fluid, $128 in tolls. Uh, the way back, it just it was just more economical to pay the tolls and come back to toll road. I did go around uh, Indiana. I just, you guys know me, I hate the Indiana toll road. It's expensive, it's rough. I got no use for it. I go around Indiana, but I paid Pennsylvania and Ohio, so that's where that's at. $13 on scales. I scaled that first load because it was heavy, but that second load was like 20,000 pounds. Did not scale that one. Uh, total variable cost, $1,331, $1,331. So you bring over the $6,720 that my 80% of revenue, and uh, you subtract the $1,331, it leaves me $5,000. $389 left to do what I have to do with $5,389, $5,389 to do what I have to do with. 
I consider this an awesome week. Um, I like weeks like this where I don't have to go so far out, but I can still make really good revenue. And uh, it was a pretty simple week. It was a you know, a, a 800 mile run out, 1200 mile run back. Um, and, you know, I love a 2000 mile week when I can make that kind of money. It's good times. But that's it for the weekly recap, guys. If you want to see more Cash's King videos, click on some of this other content here. Check out the description below. I do have a second channel called Trucking with Diabetes. If you're interested in trucking and health, uh, I'm not trying to preach to you over there. We're just kind of building a community of you know people and ideas. So come check that out and come join me for a live show. I love doing the live shows. Love when people come hang out with me at the live show. Uh, be sure to participate in that. Come on over. And uh, until later, guys, take care of each other out there. Bye. Now that man is a genuine steel-belted gear jam and rig jockey. Well, that's a fact. Boy, howdy. Oh, you said that again. Yeah.